Hey guys, it's Kirk from I Am Music. So in the last couple of videos, we uh, we did a little bit of voice editing, not not a whole lot, but uh, we're going to show you something else here, a little little more fun you can have with voice editing, and we're going to mess around with some accordions actually. And let me see here. I believe I want to start with uh, is it band band? I don't even know how you say it. This one. <laughs> so let me touch and hold that. And uh, remember, uh, we said there's six screens, and, and we didn't really talk about those, but we're going to mess a little bit here on screen one and on screen two. So, watch this. So, uh, last time we showed you how to layer voices. Well, we're kind of doing that. We're going to start with that first, uh, first voice there, uh, band, uh, band Onium. I don't even know, again, I don't know how the heck you say that. Anyway... I'm going to go down here to the second line, and I'm going to touch and hold that, and I'm going to pick Musette, okay? And I'm going to hit Exit, and I'm going to turn on the Musette, all right? Now, the other thing I'm going to do, because I kind of cheated, I did this in advance, so I kind of wrote down some of these numbers. I'm going to change the octave of the first accordion to zero, or in other words, you know, middle C is middle C, and on the Musette, we're going to lower that guy an octave, okay? with me so far now here's where it gets more interesting we're going to touch the uh, right arrows here and go to screen number two and now you still see over on the left we have our same two voices but look up there in the middle uh kind of in the middle there's something called range okay so that is going to allow us to pick a range for each of those instruments to play in and the e you can spin the wheel, touch it, and spin the wheel, but it's much easier just to touch the notes on the keyboard. So I'm going to touch this box, and I'm going to touch the lowest C, which is C1, on a 61-note keyboard, and notice it popped in C1 there for me, right? So that, that was sent over from the keyboard uh, as a MIDI note. And then for the high note for this first instrument, I'm going to hit an A3, okay? Let's get down to our friend Musette. And I'm going to hit the A sharp 3, uh, or uh, did I do that wrong? I did do that wrong. Hang on. A sharp 3. Sorry. Uh, and then we're going to go all the way up to the top C6, which is the highest C again on a 61 note keyboard. Okay, so what does that do for us? Now, this is not a keyboard split. Remember, this is a voice that splits. So let's uh, start right here at middle C. notice actually at uh, B flat we change from the band bandonian I guess whatever to musette let's listen again middle C so that voice is made up of two accordions and each accordion plays in a certain range on our keyboard we're uh, back on the accordion group again, notice, and we're going to create another two accordion style, or not style, sound. So let me touch jazz accordion and hold it, all right? And uh, this is going to be the same deal. We're going to take uh, jazz accordion as our first voice, and uh, we want it actually to be played an octave higher. So we're going to go to positive 12, okay? And I already know from testing this a little bit earlier that I really want the volume of that voice at 85 so while I'm on this screen all right so let's turn this one on and add a second voice but this time I'm going to spin down and I want to add studio 16 okay and the studio 16 guy we're going to leave him at negative 12 that seems a little odd to me Mike we might come back and change that off camera uh, let me let me go to uh, two of six and for jazz, oops, oops, sorry, wrong button. Uh, range, I'm going to hold the lowest C again, right, C1. And this time we want it to go up to the F above middle C, which is F3, all right? And then on um, our uh, studio voice, we are going to go to F sharp 3 and all the way up to C6, all right? So you can see that... Again, Jazz Accordion is going to go from C1 to F3. And then the Studio 16, 
will be from F sharp three up to C six. Let's hit save. I didn't show you this on the first voice, but let's hit save and uh, save. And now we've changed the jazz accordion. I didn't rename it, but that's okay. Um, and now uh, let's watch a little video. What we did here is we recorded a piano track and now we're going to play along with the piano track, but we're going to play these two different accordion voices in the different ranges on the keyboard. Uh, so at times we're going to have two accordions playing, left hands playing the, the left hand side of the keyboard, right, which is going to be one of the accordions. And then above the voice split, we'll have one of the second accordions uh, playing. So an interesting, fun way to mess around with some voice editing. <laughs> Just a fun idea on a different way to edit uh, your own user voice and use keyboard ranges. As always, thanks for watching.